Hey you guys, I'm back. I'm done blowing out my hair. Um, what I did was I parted it off into sections. Well, one thing that I did want to mention that I just realized I forgot. Once I um, blow out all my hair, I pick it out. Kind of did it in four sections. Take my pick and I just pick it out. You know, kind of get all the... Uh, the spaces pick it out and that's it um, I'm not gonna pick it out all the way but trying to you know you can pick it out to uh, you know cover all the uh, the parts and stuff like that or comb out all the parts but um that's pretty much it so let me put it back in this clip and I'm Miss Oceana 91 she also asked me to show how I do the twist. So, how I do my twist with, I guess with my olive oil and mango butter Elastic QP, the moisturizer. Oh, this stuff lasted me. My, t my twist out was for almost a week, you guys. It was seven days. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, yeah, it was, it was a week. And my hair was soft. And although I noticed that my hair sounded a little crunchy in the blowout video, it was soft to the touch. My hair always sounds like that when I comb through it. I don't know, it's just something I never got rid of since I was little. When I was, Because when I was little, of course, I was natural. So I just remember my hair always sounding like that once when I combed through it. But, um, yeah, so my hair is perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with it. This, the blowout method that I used, I... That's what I feel comfortable using, and it's working fine for me. I'm not experiencing any breakage, uh, anything of that sort. My hair has been soft to the touch um, since I did it the last time, and I'm pleased with the results that I got the last time. And so that's why I'm continuous, continuing to do it the way that I do it, because that's the way I like to do it for me. So I'm just sharing it with you all. But um, as for the twist, I'm just going to show you one row because I don't have that much um, memory left because my camera did die last time. So that I'm going to part it off. And of course, I didn't put anything else in my hair after I put everything else in that I needed to do the blowout. This is the hair just blown out with all the stuff I used to blow it out in it. So this is a section. I'm just gonna show you this one section. I take as mi take as much of your moisturizer or your butter or whatever it is that you have. Or, you know, once again, I'm using my um, Elastic QP olive oil. I mean, olive oil and mango butter moisturizer. Yeah. So I'm using as much as needed to cover my section. Kind of rake it through there. Get all the front here. Get the ends. This product is very good for the ends. It says it on the back as well. I need to go and get another jar. I did not go and get another jar because I figured I don't want to let it just sit there and go to waste in case this thing lasts me a long time. So I don't know. I'm contemplating it, but we'll see. We'll see how this goes. But um, yeah. So I'm raking it through here. Then combing it, combing it through, and starting to twist. I'm just finger parting for the twist. So all I'm doing is putting the moisturizer and nothing else. So just like I said, everything that I put in my hair for the blowout is, is making my hair soft and feeling moisturized. So I just need to put this stuff in for my twist and this stuff has great hold you guys I don't know if it's because of the blowout method that I use but um it has great hold it doesn't frizz up at all and um you know when, when you wake up in the morning sometimes your twist your twist will be a little frizzy it's not it has great hold and it's not hard um and what I do before I do my twist out I put coconut oil in my hand and I Rub it through my twist, no frizz, just shine. Um, 
So I guess it's the combination of everything. That's my husband trying to get in the bathroom. But um, yeah, so let me try to get this from the root a little bit. So after I do this, this is what I do throughout my whole head, you guys. So, I mean, if I keep going, it's just going to be a long, boring video. So I'm going to do, finish this row. All the way to the end. I usually coil my ends, you guys. I don't think I did that for these last two twists. But I usually coil them like this. And yeah, that's it. I need to cut my ends real soon, y'all, because they looking a little bit on the raggedy side. So maybe I might clip them while these twists are in. I wanted to do those, I think they're called corkscrew twists. Because I tried some of them in my hair last time and it came out nice. Just several of them. I forgot to mention it to you all. But, um, yeah, so... That's it, you guys. That's what I do throughout my whole head. Nothing extra special, but I just continue twisting in sections. I apply the moisturizer to each section and then make sure that section is nice and um, saturated. Well, not too saturated, but, you know, moist enough for me to twist or to be held together. So that's how my twists look. You see, they're nice and shiny. And my hair feels great. Nice and soft. Nice hold. For a great twist out. So that's it you all. <laughs> I don't want the camera to die on me again. And I will come at you guys when I do my twist out. Alright. Thank you for watching. Deuces. God bless you guys. Bye.